Today, I'll delve into Visitor, the complete edition of Japanese horror movie released in 2023. It's actually a subtle spin-off of Evil Dead. I think you'll find it intriguing. The story kicks off with three friends, worried sick about their missing friend Soda. Upon arriving at his place, they're greeted by a bizarre scene newspapers pasted over every glass window and frame. They knock, but no one answers. Eventually, Soda emerges looking rather off, his behavior sending chills down their spines. Inside, chaos reigns. They enter the house and see that the entire house was a mess. Junk were scattered everywhere, adding to the eerie atmosphere. Soda appears unfazed by the chaos, casually preparing tea for everyone. As they gather in the room, one of the friends accidentally steps in a slimy green gooey liquid. She finds it very disgusting. Amidst their discomfort, a strange noise catches the attention of the girl. She investigates the room Soda emerged from, sensing an ominous presence. There she discovers a cryptic incantation scribbled on a piece of paper, hung to the wall. She takes it off the wall, and suddenly the light of the house goes off. Alarmed, the other two friends venture into the darkness. They hear weird noises so they decide to follow it only to find the girl in a disturbing state, repeatedly striking her head against the wall. Both friends were scared by what they saw. The girl turns around and we see that the girl had completely converted into a demon. She then attacks one of her friend. The friend fought back by hitting the demon with a hammer on her head, trying to save herself. But even though the demon bled a lot, it didn't seem to bother her, and she continued attacking, choking her friend. Then, unexpectedly, she vomited a green liquid on him. Despite the friend's efforts to fight back, the demon kept bleeding heavily, but it didn't stop her from attacking. Then Soda enters the room with a tray of tea, but surprisingly, he doesn't seem concerned about his friend's safety. Instead, he's only worried about the tea getting cold. The girl who was fighting the demon was Haruki. She demands answers from Soda about what's happening, but he remains fixated on his tea, showing a strange change in his behavior. As the evil girl and her friend she was previously attacking was now possessed and attacks Haruki, Haruki engages in a fight with them. Soda hands her a chainsaw to defend herself. Haruki uses it to attack the possessed friend, causing numerous cockroaches to pour out from his mouth. Despite this, he doesn't die, and his individual body parts remain alive. Haruki slices the demon girl's head, but to everyone's surprise, she remains alive and starts laughing. Then something strange happens, Haruki's behavior changes. She calmly drinks her tea, thanks Soda, and leaves the house, with Soda bidding her farewell cheerfully, as if everything is normal. The scene then jumps three months ahead. We meet Kosuka, a music producer, who finds himself tied up with his mouth taped shut. As he regains consciousness, he notices the room is in disarray, as if a massive fight had taken place. He finds another person, a cook, tied up like him. Using a nearby knife, the cook manages to free himself and approaches Kosuka. But upon seeing the cook's half-burnt face, Kosuka is overcome with fear. The strangest part was that the cook didn't seem to feel any pain or show concern for his wounds. Despite Kosuka's fear of him, the cook unties him. Kosuka wonders if the cook is a demon or human, fearing that he might have been brought there to be eaten. However, the cook simply frees him. Suddenly, strange things start happening. Kosuka hears someone singing a song, and when he turns around, he sees the beheaded heads of many evil entities singing the song. This terrifies him completely. Now the cook transforms into one of these evil entities and attacks Kosuka. Just when it seems hopeless, Haruki appears on the scene. She has been battling these evil entities for three months. In a desperate bid to fight them, she has attached two chainsaws to her hands, even injuring herself in the process. She saves Kosuka from the attacking entity. However, the cook manages to vomit the green liquid on her. Now she too succumbs to the influence of the green liquid, transforming into an evil entity. It appears that the liquid infects and transforms anyone it touches into a demon. Kosuka, terrified, flees the scene, and the story jumps ahead by one year. A year later, the entire country is embroiled in a war against the demons. The demons are prevailing, and human survival is scarce. Kosuka is one of the few remaining humans, but the ordeal has taken a toll on his mental well-being. He eventually follows Haruki and enters Soda's house along with her and other demon entities. Surprisingly, Soda is also alive and residing with the demons. The reason behind this arrangement remains unclear. Perhaps he provided his house to the demons, and in return, they spared him. Kosuka has embraced his new life alongside the demons, living with them as friends. They work the land together, cultivating crops, and it appears Kosuka has come to terms with his fate. The demons have established their own society, mimicking human behavior in many aspects. They form groups, grow crops, 
play games and share a deep love for music. However, they have eliminated all animals, posing a potential threat to their food source, though they seem unable to possess them like they do with humans. As news spreads that the demons have conquered half the human population and are poised to take over the world entirely, Kosuka, Soda, and the demons reside in Soda's house. They are joined by a demon friend who arrives with two humans chained up like dogs. Soon after, two human survivors attack the demons, but the cook vomits on them, impeding their efforts. Though they manage to avoid the vomit, they slip and are unable to mount a successful attack. Haruki intervenes, slashing them with her chainsaw hands. As the chaos unfolds, they all begin dancing. Despite their apparent invincibility, Haruki presses a button, causing everyone to vanish. Haruki searches tirelessly for demons but finds none until she encounters a mysterious rectangular box near the beach. Inside, she discovers aliens who play a song, prompting her to dance, and the movie concludes. In summary, the green liquid acted as a demonic force controlling individuals, akin to evil dead. It manipulated both itself and humans through vomit. Even severed body parts gained autonomy. Some speculate that an incantation summoned the box with the aliens, possibly suggesting demons are extraterrestrial beings. This theory aligns with the movie's title, Visitors. As for the demons' disappearance, it's theorized they embarked on a new mission to conquer another world. That wraps up the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.